Namaste, peace, welcome and collective. Welcome to Powerhouse Tarot, our energy goddess. Welcome to my channel. This message is going to be a timeless message for the channel. All right. So you can click on this whenever and get a message from me. Timeless. Okay. Up to the time. Up to the times. All right. Holy Spirit. We have about the Empress. I'm getting a divine feminine here. Um, very much know what the fuck you're doing in a situation. Um, standing in your purpose right now. That's what I'm getting. Somebody that's very driven. I feel like a lot of people watch you or are very much inspired by your work. And you don't even have to be necessarily a public figure or do anything public. But your life is a living example of what living in purpose looks like, right? The chariot. Yeah. Taking off. I feel like anything like you really put your mind to is really going to be taken off right now because you're listening to divine spiritual insight right now. So trying to get the drop on how to do shit, you know. another thing that I feel like why you're in like so much forward movement in your life is because you're very honest with yourself even other people and I feel like honesty you know is always a trait that's more respected than anything else because it's like that's the real you know what I'm saying and people respect that people don't respect that fake shit and even when they do I feel like you know um <clears throat> that just is a what do you call that shit that's a reflection of their character when they will prefer something fake over the real. You know what I'm saying? So it just shows who they are, you know? So you're very honest and straightforward. And I feel like people um, relate to you, you know, because of this possible air signs. Again, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Somebody could be an air sign here. What else? Knight of Pentacles. Spirit wants you to be patient with your process, whatever that that you see fit. You know, be patient with yourself. You don't have to rush. Don't feel like you need to hurry up and do anything because you don't. Um, just be patient with yourself, but make movement forward with a chariot. Don't stay stagnant. This is a wonderful time to network also beautiful Aquarius, right? That's the um plant uh the the energy that basically facilitates all of the relationship dynamics and networking and getting out there. So this is a perfect time, the opportune time to kind of take advantage of this if you will get this message in the Aquarius season, although it's timeless. Okay, be patient with your journey. Here we have the lovers, okay? Also, tell me more about the lovers here. Tell me more about the lovers. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, that's the message. Spirit wants you to stay at your ground. It's going to take work because some of you guys, though headed in the direction in the place that you're headed in, part of the work the spiritual work, the inner work that you have to do is to learn how to stand your ground and not be afraid to um, learn from past experiences and take only with you the lessons and none of the resentment or the guilt and the negative things that sometimes we can tend to harbor within after dealing with certain experiences because our failure to surrender, right? 
So just keep that in mind. As long as you stay light, okay, you'll be in the energy you need to be um, in any sort of successful dynamic when it comes to love for you. But you got to take your lessons. You can't keep going through the same type of shit and getting the same result because that's you doing the same shit and then expecting something different. Why? That's craziness, right? That's the definition of insanity. So you have to be mindful how you're talking to yourself. You know what I'm saying? How you're treating yourself. You know what I'm saying? Know that when you say no, that's all you got to say. You don't need to explain why you said no or why you do what it is you do. To any of them. Okay, found this message here. Tell me more. Tell me more. What else is coming out here? Knight of Swords. Okay. So that's like pretty much the speed of how things will start to go as you trust yourself in this process. It'll take work. But it's worth the investment, Eight of Pentacles. Okay, I need you to know that. All right, it'll go quickly, as quickly as you allow it to go, as well as quickly as you allow yourself to grow. The quicker you can surrender, the the lighter you can be, the faster you can travel. Right? But if you heavy and you weigh down, you can't travel or move, and be as fluid with that chariot energy. You know, taking in all of the direction that spirit trying to give you. If you you see what I'm saying? So that's why it's so important. You always hear the readers talking about surrender. That's what this is, right? All right? So keep that in mind for those of us getting this time. This message, all right? What else is coming out here? So we got the King of Pentacles coming in reverse. There could be energies around you collective. When you get this reading, I just want you to take a good look at what's around you. If this isn't your energy of just um, being secure in finances, but I feel like the main focus for right now is going to be like, um, what what is my value? And at what line do I draw for, for respect and dignity? Because no amount of money should be able to pay off your dignity or your self-respect, right? And so I think these sorts of dynamics will definitely start to come up, whether they be with other people or just your value that you start to find within, okay? Um, for those of us getting this timeless message, okay, you're really gonna start to uh, start feeling like, yo, what's, what's my value, what's my worth? And what will I? What do I draw the line at? Because I, I, I've been observing myself and seeing that I've been going this way, and, and I, I want to have you know um, expectations for myself, right? Um, I want to give myself the best life possible. Um, as we're growing and evolving, you know, um, as beings, right? We understand that value will change, right? We understand that most things in life will change, right? And so it's a part of it, but a, a, a huge part of what's going to come up for those of us getting the time, this message is just a, a inner sense of reflection on that, you know. Whether you're doing that willingly or it just happens for you, you know, that's going to be taking place. So we got the tower in the rebirth. The tower is in reverse. If there's any changes that's starting to come out here in your life, believe you me, they're happening so that you can be reborn and and um, have a rebirth of your energy, right? You know, you, you're you not dying per se, right? You're just re rebirthing your energy. You know, oftentimes we go into this rebirthing energy when we have to recalibrate, right? Um, when we have to refigure. And it's very much a part of when we're accepting change or accepting life on life's terms. Hi. Um, we kind of get to experience life as it should be versus us trying to oppose its natural force, right? Um, 
life's a lot easier when you're going with the flow versus against the current. It's, it's okay to be an individual. However, um, don't overcomplicate it. Kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. You know, because when we overcomplicate a thing, you know what I'm saying, we take away from um, other people being able to catch on or other people being able to feel us and connect with us because we being like overly complicated in the situation. So just be aware of that. Right with this tower is the message I'm getting. You know, just be aware of that, y'all. You don't have to resist. Go with the flow right now. I feel like for those of us that's getting this timeless message, all right, go just go with the flow of it, all right? And you'll see your own unique individual lane where you're supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Very clearly, I promise, all right? And, and like I said, keep it simple, okay? Stupid. <laughs> Kiss, all right? But bottom of the deck is in the Four of Swords. Okay, good timeless message here. I want you guys to remember that even as you're doing all of this beautiful work and transformation of the mind, body, soul, and you know, reaching heights that you were supposed to, evolving, okay, um, through this phase called life, right? This process called life. I want you to remember to take care of yourself, take the, the well-needed rest and your moments to kind of breathe and just, and come back down, you know, to, to earth and be grounded and be present. That's what I'm hearing for this message. You know, don't be afraid to be present, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay. We know where the future is going. We know where it's, it's leading, right? That's why so many of us is coming online so that we could have that collective conscious shift and make it more powerful. So that's why all of us, you know, individually are coming online. But remember, those of you, especially those of you who will be teachers and who will be healers, who will be the, um, you already are, right? And so I want you to remember that, you know, and even if that's not your path or whatever, you know, I want you to keep that in mind, you know, um, because some of us, you know, we're, we're here for a reason, all right? But yeah, that's what I'm getting here for this time, this message. Let me know how you guys like this one. Um, and I'll get back. Peace.